Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, this is Joe Brzezek from Cars.com. We're here with the 2009 Volkswagen Beetle Convertible, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that make this retro style drop top fun in the sun. One of the things you'll immediately notice is that it doesn't look a whole lot different than the regular Beetle. Uh, some convertibles you sacrifice a lot of styling of the hardtop, Infiniti G37, but this one remains very true to the regular version. The Beetle isn't the most masculine car out there, uh, something my buddies reminded me every time I showed up over the weekend, but Volkswagen has made some uh, styling enhancements over the years that make it a little more butch, including cutting uh, this fender here. It's a little bit more trim, a little bit more masculine. Also, there's these wheels. These are optional, uh, but they're very attractive wheels, and they've also added some different design headlights and taillights. While the chiseled fenders and the nice wheels do their part, there's still a flower holder inside this thing. So uh, to remedy that, uh, tire pressure gauge, meet flower holder. Even though most would rather drive with the top down, but the top up is still a really enjoyable experience because there's not a lot of wind noise, there's a lot of not, not a lot of road noise, and the top is a very high quality material that's very seamless inside. Putting the top down is pretty easy. Just pull the lever here, push up, and pull the button. Now the top retracts right here. It sits on top of the back of the car. Uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages to that. One of the advantages, it doesn't take up any trunk space. Now disadvantage, this is pretty unsightly, and it's a big blind spot when you're driving. To address this uh, unsightly lump on the back of the car, uh, Volkswagen gives you the option of a boot, which is $300. Uh, it's pretty easy to put on and really cleans up the appearance of this. Now another accessory, but a bit more functional than the boot, is this window deflector. Now the window deflector fits in the back seat and it takes up the two back seats, but it does make wind noise uh, a little less noticeable. Now while this piece does get the job done, uh, it also creates a pretty nasty blind spot that isn't helped by the rear top at all. So the benefit of this uh, really isn't worth having it up. Now while the Beetle has its quirks, like the awkward top, uh, the blind spots, and the tiny trunk, uh, one of its best features is that it's still very unique. Even though it's been on the road since 1998 relatively unchanged, there's still nothing like it on the road. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.